part 4 the final part of the story the next evening susie headed straight to dr sejit's nursing home with a strong mind when he saw her she he smiled mis mischievously i accept your deal for me nothing is greater than my husband please fix the date for his surgery said susie firmly sitting before him it was a shock to the doctor for a few minutes he didn't say anything then he said, Do you know why I was so adamant on my face? He looked straight to her eyes. Susie was not interested to know his reason. It was immaterial to her. She was bothered only to see the smile on Arun's face again. She turned her face away from the doctor's gaze. Seeing her response, Dr. Sijit answered his own question. Do you know who am I? Before you ran away with Arun, your marriage was fixed with me verbally by my uncle and your father. The marriage was to take place in two weeks' time. I had even boarded the flight to India. Though I hadn't seen you personally, I had seen your photograph. When you came to me with your husband's medical reports, at once I recognized you. Then I decided to play a game on you for humiliating me. The fate was also on my side and hence you came before me so unexpectedly. For a moment she was too stunned to speak. She wanted to get up and run away from him but her feet refused to move. She wanted to scream at him but her brain refused to act. She felt the blood in her veins as frozen. I don't need the fees now. Arun can be admitted tomorrow and in two days time he will be operated on. After he gets his vision back in both eyes, you can pay me the fees I asked you. Susie got up to her feet and felt her body weigh, weighing heavily. Bring your husband tomorrow for admission. I hope you will not change your word after your work is over. She heard the doctor's voice as she dragged herself towards the door. She just turned her head in assurance with a forced smile. When she reached home, Arjun, Arun didn't ask her anything, but his mother came to her. Is there no way to arrange for Arun's operation? Asked her mother-in-law, seeing Susie sitting like a stone, resting her jaw in her right hand. Since you left in the morning, he is in the room, not even playing with the child. Didn't, didn't have his lunch. He has lost all hopes, my poor son. Don't worry, ma. It will be done soon, she said gently. Susie grabbed her son from her, who was making tantrums, and fed him rice and dal. She took him to his bed and made him sleep, and wiped her tears silently flowing over her cheeks. Then she went and sat next to Arun and forced a smile. Arun, Tomorrow you are getting admitted. Dr. Sijit has informed me that the instrument has arrived. Your surgery will be done after two days. She put her hand on his shoulder. Now please smile and be cheerful. I want to see you happy again. I don't couldn't believe it. Are you telling the truth? Yes, I am. Then why didn't you tell me as soon as you came home? You don't sound happy, Arun could feel the unrest in her words. Susie suppressed a sob. The doctor has said that it is a risky operation, so I was silently praying for you. Arun seemed to believe his wife. He encouraged her to be strong and optimistic. Dr. Sijit became extremely friendly with Arun in the nursing home. Each word uttered by him frightened Susie. Will he take a revenge on my husband? She felt the question repeatedly popping up in her mind. After a week, Arun's eyes were opened. He thanked Dr. Sridh with folded hands as though he was God who appeared in the form of a doctor to save his life. Arun's mother, the nurses and other staff were all happy to see the smiling face of Arun. Only Susie was not there to share the joy. Very Susie inquired Arun desperately. He wanted to see his dear wife first as his bandage was uncovered. I am certainly happy for you, Arun. She turned away with tearful eyes, unable to stand before him. She had scribbled a letter to her husband and left it in his bag at home for him to see it later. Mm -hmm. My dear Arun, 
I am very happy to see you with your vision again. But I am afraid I will not be able to live with you as your wife again. I have to pay the fees to your doctor tonight. And that was the deal. I will not come back home as a sinner. I haven't decided what I must do. Please forgive me and take care of our son. Your own Sue forever. She was waiting for Dr. Sejit in his cabin with a look of embodiment of grief. After some time, the doctor entered his cabin exhausted and was shocked to see Susie sitting there. Arun, was go Arun has got back his vision. He is looking for you everywhere. And you are sitting here? He asked her in accusation. I don't want to see him anymore. I came back to pay your fees as per our terms. Susie sat bending her head. Dr. Sejit did not expect such a response from her. Where are you going? I don't know, doctor. Before going away, I wanted to pay your fee, which I had promised as per the deal. Her voice became lower and lower. A smile appeared on the doctor's face. It was not a vicious smile, but a smile of true well-wisher. I'm sorry, Susie. I don't intend to take any type of fee from you. I only wanted you to know the depth of my feeling when you rejected me and ran away with your love. You are always Arun Susi. I admire you. you. admire your love for your husband. Go back to him and lead a happy life now. I am a doctor and my medical ethics do not allow me to indulge in any such sinful acts for my service. You can trust me. I sincerely apologize to you for hurting your feelings and making you go through a couple of agonizing days. Please forgive me. From now on, I see you as my sister and I wish my sister and brother-in-law all the best in life. This time, it was Susie's turn to get dazed. A smile of relief broke out on her face. Then slowly she thanked him with folded hands and tears of gratitude. Susie walked towards her husband's bed with a new perspective.